I have un I have limited. I have Diet Coke. All right. <laughs> Is it the same Diet Coke? Hey, we're back. back. We're back. <laughs> I got oh, it down. We're back. Well, he did say I was going back, and he counted down. Oh, <laughs> uh, I. Yeah, Let's I didn't see the count, but that's fine. Uh, so, you guys land in the shuttle bay. Oh god, I load everything in the data pad, just to remind you. Yeah. Um. And, are, I'm guessing you're exiting the shuttle? Yeah, no, we're going to stay in the shuttle for the next six hours. I am, I am exiting the shuttle. Okay, as soon as you open the shuttle doors, you see seven Avin Ra. Six of them in a formation, and one person in the head of it. Are they putting like, their weapons at it, us? Wait, 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 wait. The way you described that, in a formation, and one person in the head of it, it sounds like they built a mech suit out of their bodies. No, okay, no. <laughs> two, row, two rows of three, and a person standing in front of the right. two rows. Yeah. Um, oh, I thought they were just in a V. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that... Um, alright, I, I walk up to the one in front and go, I, I'm sorry about the technical difficulty. Well, I, I mean, technical difficulties happen. Just hand it the stupid the pad. <laughs> <laughs> While he's doing that, I'm gonna tap my wristwatch. And I want to... I'm gonna do that, but scanner. So, as an action, I can use my handheld scanner. To analyze the electromagnetic spectrum around me, the scanner detects the presence, uh, number, and type of technological device within 30 feet of me. Um, um you see pings everywhere. It's right. like you just went onto a bad point. You see on the pings that are where these the V shape is. Right? Not B. Two rows. <laughs> they all have Avin Ross staffs. Oh shit. <laughs> Nice yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's can, their standard record. All down right now <laughs> for one round. <laughs> we gotta be fast. <laughs> I wonder how many I could steal. How many can you taste? <laughs> Ooh, what do the bird people taste like? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> they taste like <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wow, a, little, a little sweaty, kind of dirty, you know. Uh, they taste like chicken. They taste oh. like feathers. Delicious. Do we see? Wait, wait. I gotta do it. Uh, do I see one of them? Like, get the chills? <laughs> like, the, the, the... You see one of them give an odd look. <laughs> But nothing we could see is touching him. Wow. That felt weird. What the heck was that? And you feather, some of its feathers kind of puff up a little. Oh my. I mean, to be fair, like, he, he, it would kind of, it would be justified if a cat ate one of these people, right? Like, <laughs> they're <laughs> sketchy and mean. <laughs> Don't be a form of their greatest enemy. But, okay. Cat monster space. Here's the thing, though. All right, to a cat and level of intelligence, a bird is sentient as well. They're about the same equal. So <laughs> they don't. Have, but th that's not the same kind of intelligence as two intelligent beings. There's giant I mean... space cats, and they eat these people. That's why they have the staffs at all times. No. To defend themselves against the horrible monstrosities of the space I would love to see Swim just be like, we accidentally kill one in, in defense. <laughs> and, and goes, I'm going to eat that. You going to eat that? <laughs> I, mean, I just drag one back on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Make it and, and you, flavor. You leave, you leave it in Banner's bedroom? I got you this gift. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> he just is in bed anyways, right? So he's yeah. like the perfect cat owner. The cat takes the bed and he's on the floor. He just sits in the corner. <laughs> well, you wake up probably this is a dead, dead bird man in this your lap. Horrible diet coke, by the way. Uh, is it too heady? It's it's a pale ale. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm assuming it's, it's a bitter. type of 
type, type yeah. of process. It's very happy. So, so anyway, we gave them the data pad of the 100% legal bounty hunter documents. Yep. They're yes. checking it. He's looking through it. I'm going to, while they do that, I, I did the scan. I'm going to, uh, Alice, I'm going to relay to Alice in my head to send to them, like, a breakdown of all the weapons and gear they're carrying. Uh, from the scan that I got. Okay. So now we know what they have. <laughs> yep. So you can get an idea. Just in case we got in a fight, maybe it'll give us some advantage. <laughs> Hopefully we're not, because we're severely outnumbered and those staffs do I a lot of damage. We get back in the ship, we shoot one thing at, their, at the group, and they're all dead. <laughs> no, that's, that's, I can fireball, that's true. <laughs> Um, they do have a planetary. Yeah, this low, system. this low though. Usually, you have to get a certain altitude. And, we're, for and you said things. we're in a shuttle bay. Yeah, yeah. we're not, we're not but, in a shuttle pad. <laughs> if you start stuff, you don't think they might want to blow your ship out of the sky? Yeah, but that's what hacking is for. You're acting like the, the game is made for the heroes to do stupid shit. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying you are you would be risking a lot and you're on a planet of these people. Oh god, we all die and then we just show up on Plant Banner goes to the turtle and we're all just like, hi. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, do it. New crew. <laughs> I'm a turtle, a turtle or whatever. <laughs> turtle. Oh, the turtle or whatever. <laughs> I'm oh, a turtle no. monk. I control gravity because that's just cool as shit. And why wouldn't you take that? <laughs> because open palm is like stupidly more powerful than every. I don't care. Type. I do things because I like to screw with NPCs, <laughs> not because it's effective. I mean, anyway. I thought about taking the gravity one, but I'm like, why the hell would Banner take that? <laughs> I did because the he's my in character. A world now, shit he... happened. He got magically screwed up. Well, I Ooh. can't punch as hard, but I am. It makes me think forces. of um, Oathbreaker. If you guys ever, if you read Brandon Sanderson, he hands Sanderson. you back the data pad. I take it and I go. Everything seems to be in order. Yes. What do you want from us, though? Just a location, if you have one. Last known location, and I'll identify. Like I'll pull up a galactic. I'll I actually I'll have Alice shoot a, a holographic image of like the, the in area star of map. map. Oh, uh, where we were going to go. This is where we last seen it. Uh, last I uh, were told that it was seen. We wanted to know if that you would have a more precise location to aid us in our job. The last location that we know of, it had el entered the Elven lands. Is that a problem? Are the Elven will the Elven lands protect it? No, I'm just letting you know. Oh, no, I'm asking you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very uninformed when it comes to the empires. I tend to focus more on technology. Mm, indeed. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be a problem. As, you know, as long as you have keep your paperwork in order, if they stop you and you show them that you're on official business. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Uh, where By are the, the stores? <laughs> where, oh, since we're, we're here... <laughs> Uh, do we see anybody else? I know we're in a hangar, but do we see any other races besides the bird people? Here, no. Okay. Right. You, you, we, here, you seem to be quarantine? in a military complex. Okay, so we're a bit quarantined. Like, they, they, they separated us. Okay. Yeah. So, we have the information we need. We should... <laughs> Don't get greedy, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to fly back up to the Renegade. <laughs> oh, I had a name for the ship, but I forgot what it was now. Hatches! No, that's not the name of the ship. It was a really stupid, cheeky name. Here, here are your clearance codes. Thank cool. you. Well, at least you the sent them to your light. data pad. <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'll go. If we come by again, um, I'm sorry, we haven't been here before. What's the proper procedure to make it easier? We, we don't wish to waste any more of your time. That is appreciative. It depends on the business that you come back for. I believe my friend that's manning our ship upstairs was talking about... Uh, I'll look to Syndra. Uh, trade? Both, both trade and possibly purchasing. 
then you would want to contact the merchant guilds and make arrangements with them. You have a rather interesting weapon. I notice you all do, and I will actually identify them, and I'll identify the serial number because I scanned it <laughs> uh, of their of their staff and go. Is that when you say when you see the serial number, you see him kind of just get a little bit more rigid. I told you I'm really good with technology, and I hold up my wristband to show like the scanner. We did I not give you permission to scan us. Uh, Leave. Yeah. Well, that's oddly threatening. Okay, fine. Um, Sindra pushes on Ruby's exo frame. <laughs> yeah, I'll can't. go. I'm not going to fight them. <laughs> and, all ha- and hail the mistress. As he makes a small symbol. Do we have to call her? <laughs> he just <laughs> looks at you. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the gesture, but you know, it's the one hand, you know, arm, hail the mistress. No, that's not it. <laughs> no, it's not that. It but... like this. <laughs> <laughs> mistress. <laughs> mistress. <laughs> mistress. <laughs> like a gang, gang symbol? Or... <laughs> no, it's like a lightning bolt he makes in the air. And I go, yes, yes, yes. Uh... By the way, nice pistol, and I'll say that's here, and we're get on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe. <laughs> so we leave the planet now, never to return again. Thanks, Rick. Why? Why? <laughs> we can return. I didn't break any laws. Just because he was like, I didn't, t- I didn't want to tell you my badge number. Doesn't mean that you can't get it, bitch. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I mean, it might have been illegal to forcefully scan someone. I didn't forcefully nothing. I pushed a button. That's not force. Uh-huh. <laughs> so anyway, we leave. <laughs> yes. How did things go? They actually didn't tell us to leave the planet. But we'll get in the shuttle and fly back to the ship. No, but I mean, I mean, we gave us clearance codes. So if you wanted to go shopping, I'm assuming they're not going to keep us in this hangar. This hangar is obviously for... Um, like stopping people and checking them, right? This is a closed off hangar. It probably has more guns than any other hangar in this damn <laughs> planet. Oh yeah, coming in, you you saw this is a military facility. Yeah. So if you wanted to go shopping, we could still do that. They didn't tell us to leave the planet, and oh, they gave us buy? <laughs> what, what 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 do we need though? Like really? I don't know. I'm gonna be on the uh, comms and be like. I looked into new sensors if we want to upgrade our sensors to something that might be able to uh, scan planets. We would have to order them and come back, though, most likely. Or stay around for a period of time. Did you get a price? Uh, did I get a price? <laughs> um, I'll give it to you in a little bit here. I just gotta <clears throat> look up ship stuff. 100 gonna... million credits! Ooh. I'm gonna look at Smith and go, I saw that. What do they taste like? <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're kind of foul. For advanced sensors, oh. you're looking at 2500 That's actually Not that bad. Good. Yeah. Regular sensors are normally 1000 Can I install them while we're flying? I don't think so. I think the ship has to be, like, moored or whatever, like, dry dock or some shit. Yeah, because it's an external system. I mean, I got a suit and grab boots. <laughs> You'd also then be flying blind. Uh, that's that's a better point. <laughs> that's a much better point. Because well, you'd have to take the current sensors offline. I, I don't think there's anything we need here on this planet. I mean... I Can we look up? Can I look up to see? Because Syndra wanted the, the staff. Can I look up to see if that's another well, one? I don't need the staff. I don't care if you need it. You asked for it. Is that's that the thing that I was was talking about was modifying a friggin blaster to like use magic like my magic that probably wouldn't be here no yeah. but we could buy the gun and then Rambi could tinker with it is that doable is that something that I think we could do I thought you're, we might, talk- 
yeah, you might need to get a third party involved, but mm -hmm. it wouldn't be here to get the third party. Yeah, but no, but to get the blaster would be almost guaranteed here, I would assume. You would Unless be able to get walls. You'd be able to get some weapons here. Like a concussion you know rifle? You <laughs> Whoa, wow, wow. It's actually, we have more money now that um, Tiv hasn't been here for a bit, because Tiv had like a bunch of things he wanted to buy. Can we sell that rock? <laughs> no. <laughs> sell his hammer? He no. Back and he's like, my hammer! <laughs> yeah, we, sp we stole it for half price. I got a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the hammer? Two hundred. Oh. All right, never mind. That's not worth it. <laughs> I would say simple would be easy to easiest to get. We already so, have those. The sun, staff. the sun staff has. You can shoot. It's two handed. <laughs> the Actually, the so sun so staff. So you're probably not going to get here directly because they're military issue. <sighs> That's fine. The concussion rifle's better anyway. <laughs> Why is it bet? You know he's gonna change the damage die, so it doesn't matter. Why would the damage die change? Because you're it's based off the spell you can fire for it. If we're what doing it that way. Yeah, if you're if you if you're eventually. The behind the scenes version. I want to use my magic casting ability, not the freaking deck. Oh, then you just want to flavor it. Then just say that. Like. Yeah, you, that's what I mean. Just get a gun and shoot it, damn it! <laughs> Stop making my, this my... dramatic. My magic casting is so much better than regular freaking shooting. It's an eight versus a five. Yeah. <laughs> you're such a main maxer. Oh yeah. my god. And look at what you rolled. Extra points and you're like, we should, look what we you should. rolled. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? I It was fun and we had fun. That's the point. Not <laughs> succeeding. Alright, so I might your dies next time because I for, really bad. For anything above simple weapons, you will have to get a permit. Okay, we leave. <laughs> we can easily get that. What, you can hack a permit? We know a forger. He literally just <laughs> defeated the military's, like, analyzing. <laughs> I mean, I think they just, like, I looked it you. over briefly. I mean, like, it probably it might not have held up if they scanned it deeply. I mean, it's just paperwork, though. Like, paperwork's really All you need to do is work one time. Yep. It yep. doesn't matter. If you don't want to do it, we go on the ship. Do you want to do yeah. it? I don't care. We can do it, it now, or we just leave. It doesn't really matter. Then we leave. If you don't care, then we leave. Because we'd have to so. pay to get forged documents. <clears throat> now, this will be a blind job. Hmm. Damn it. Well. We, uh, I'm guessing they won't have any roaches on this planet. They actually might. <clears throat> they seem to be more of a black market thing than official. Drugs. Yeah. Do you, you think that we would care if it's black market or not? We'd buy some black market shit. Well, no, that you wouldn't find it here. They might or at least not markets. easily. <laughs> they, if they have a black market, we could probably not be able to find it very easily. Because are we black market experts? It. I look for it. Twenty-nine. Does the black market also have a concussion rifle you can modify? No, no, you said no already. No, that's done. <laughs> roaches. We're looking for roaches now. I want roaches. Expensive ass roaches. How are you looking for it? I um, Google. Do <laughs> yeah. You're not Googling the black market. Okay. Google has the onion. You could still search the black markets <laughs> with it. The deep web. Whatever you want to call it in this world. Shadow web. The, yeah. the, the dark matter? No, the, the down code oh. web. Uh, do I find it searching the interwebs with 29 I found a dealer on this planet that we might be able to approach you probably are gonna for that you're probably gonna have to actually use 
I mean, it's just like, okay. it wouldn't make technology. I mean, <clears throat> yes. Sorry. Of course. No, it's fine. It's fine. You're figuring it out. I'm just on the ship waiting for everybody. How is. <laughs> how is I'm actually going like, to call you guys up and be like, how is everything going? Have you, have you found everything we need? Rimby, why don't we uh, search for this later? Maybe if we have to come back for some stuff. Okay. I mean, I I don't have to go anywhere to do this. We could be flying back to the ship. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not um, I will I will figure it out in a little bit. Sorry. Um By so the way, illegal we... would be hacking and hacking is a data check. Okay. That's what I was trying to figure out what was hacking. Which You're not going to get anything right now. Not here. Okay, let's go to the line jump. Do you need a roll? Of... Yeah, let me get to the jump sections. Uh, where are you? I mean, you just roll the 100. Yeah, I just had to find. Yeah, go ahead and roll. I just had to find the chart. Ah, balls. So that you are just off target. So what is that? Half travel? Uh, yeah, yeah 50, you're fifty percent closer. All right. Uh, there's also a ten percent chance to encounter undiscovered planet, derelict ship, spatial anomaly, or other specific. Yeah, actually, yeah. it's up to you at your discretion. Yeah, I know. Uh, give me. A, hold on a sec. Well, I'm keeping that next roll. Nope, nothing there. Okay. I yeah, got a 95 so, uh, yeah. that imperfect jump. Cool. So that's one and a half. So how many do we need we to really get? We only need to do one jump. It's only one hex away. Or is it two jumps per hex? Two jumps uh, per hex. All right. No, so we're at half a no. jump away. <laughs> no, it's... one day per hex, which is all. Oh, yeah, one jump. day per hex. Sorry, which is four jumps. So, yeah, you need. So we we already it's gonna take us more than a day because one of them was hacked. Yeah. Sixty one. So that's off tar. Oh wait, no, that's uh. Yeah, off tar. Oh no, near, near tar. Target. So, so is that half or? No, it's your ten. Yeah, it's a ten minute. All right, so it's two. And Sublight. A half. Sublight, yeah. And so I have one more, I believe. Yep, one more. So you're near target again. So we got three and a half with a little bit of travel in the first day. Yep. Um. So we're probably like here-ish or something. Yeah, you're close. How much? Do you, I guess the I guess sublight. It's just sublight. Sublight's your normal speed. Um. Waiting for your ship. Yeah, it's it's in there, but it's it's way slower. It's, yeah, it's pretty much travel from planet to moon. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um. All right. Well, while he's doing jumps, can I work on the AI core since it's the whole day now? Yeah. What do you want me to roll? Uh, same thing. Uh, was it circuitry? I thought it was. No, it was uh, machine, tools? machine tools and data. date. No, was it no, technology. technology? Technology, yeah. Yeah, technology and machine tools. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, so you get the next part installed properly. Uh, after How many parts do I need to install? You still had three more parts that you had to find. Yeah, that's one of the parts. All right. One of three. Uh, yep. I, I want to go to Rimby when he's done work for the day and be like, uh, Rimby, could you do me a favor? I uh -huh. need you to get drunk. 
Right. Because if I am to play the part of a drunken gnome, what better way to do that is than to observe a drunken gnome? Um, I, do you I have any not... alcohol? <laughs> Can we sit? Can we program? Yeah, program the synthesizer for booze. <laughs> no, uh, it makes I food pellets an and kit. water. Can yeah. I have? I pull out my alchemist kit. There has to be alcohol in that, and I'm drinking it, so it doesn't disappear. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You you set up you make a brew station using the food pellet. Yeah, I got the brew you, station. You make like a still. <laughs> In three weeks, I will have your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you you make a freaking moonshine. In the, in the oh, sorry, Space moonshine. I was using the pellet of the hops. So <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So do you want to do your next jump? I mean, all we need is like one success. It, it might not even be there. We have to, we have to figure. That's it out. also true, yeah. But like, we have four, whatever's chances in the day. Yeah. Did you roll swift? What would I'm trying to? Uh, jump. One hundred. The answer. Uh, I think that's near drop again. No, no, that's, uh, yeah, that's near, near target. Tar yeah, near target. Yep. So we're near where it's last heard of. We yeah. 10, 10 minutes to go there. I can I scan? Do we have do we don't sensors? sensors we have sensors. You have we base have... sensors, yeah. Yeah. What do I do to scan? When is that? Just roll me a technology roll. Twenty two. You are scanning some life forms nearby, but nothing as big as the turtle. Um, I, I, uh, do I pick up any type of, I don't know, space poo or something for directional? Like, I don't know, I, like, to find, to get an idea of what direction it could have, like, I would assume something that large has effects on gravitational part, uh, properties around it, right? So do I see anything that might be like not within asteroid your sensor belt. range at the moment i don't know um i don't know where it is i do sense some life forms but what type of life forms like space faring life forms yes what what kind is there like a way i can look up what they are because it might tell me a direction like if it's predatory, right, and it's chasing after the turtle, or if it's like something that is a symbiotic relationship with the turtle just fell off. <laughs> you detect some space sharks. Well, that's just this is this is some weird shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up. Um, I don't know where the turtle is, but I I scanned for some sh sharks. How big are they? Space, sure. <laughs> like, you ever heard of a megalodon? No. That they that are mega like... size. They are five hundred feet long and five hundred yeah, yeah, feet wide. They're as big as the <laughs> ship. I was gonna say, uh, the, uh, megalodon. That would be the sperm of one of these. Will that help us find a space turtle? It might be hunting them, but it might also attack our ship. Uh, the ship, which is not 100%. Combat ready. Uh, excuse me. This ship is in great shape. It's I'm missing it. one of the main guns. It's, that's not my problem. You didn't purchase it. They are headed in your direction. Um, they smell our space metal. They, 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 smell, they smell the birds people on it. Even though um, there's no way to smell in space because there's no particles to transmit. There are smell. particles, by the way, in space. But they're, so they're, 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 they're <laughs> yes, very, very limited. Actually, the funny part is they do have metal scent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I would recommend we jump in that, in, 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 in that direction. We knew where, well, here it is. Can I do a quick calculation of where we last had it, where they told us it updated for a general direction on where to jump? 
Because that would tell us the general direction it was heading. Well, you're two, roughly two where it last was. Your ship where it is on the map right now is roughly where it last was. I understand that. I so understand it was that. going into Elven territory. I know, but we have two points of reference, right? So I Elven should get an idea is... of the slope. Well, it was it... going... Hold on. It was going in this direction. I think All it was right. there I recommend before. we jump in that direction. Because um, there's where the You also was. know it doesn't do jumps. Yeah, but it's constantly moving forever. Yes. <laughs> so. But you could easily over jump it then. Yeah, but we're still be closer to it than we are now. And at least if we're hesitating and talking about it, it's coming towards us. Versus so anyway, we have three more jumps that we can do. Sharks are coming. We need to jump. <laughs> Guys. No. If I'm piloting the ship, is the ship speed my speed? No. No, it's the ship speed. No. Also, your no. speed's a lot slower than the ship. <laughs> <laughs> your, your speed is measured in feet, and this one is measured in, like, hundreds of meters. <laughs> I didn't know if I could, you know, use my feel and agility to make the ship go. No. <laughs> hey, actually, can I surge the engine? I think that's something I can do as an um, engineer. I think that's one of my things is I can, like, add a extra action. Uh, like in combat to have a yeah. like, pulse faster. Can I do, do something like surge the engines to, like... Yeah, I think it's under like, your no? stuff... Well, there is there is an ability to shorten the jump, it, t the time to prepare for a jump. Oh, no, it's no, it's just... Go ahead. No, I think it was like when we were doing the simulation, like he can be like, no, move again or fire yeah, again. Yeah, I was able to give someone an No, there's all, there again. is something to... No, it's a, it's a system that allows you to do that. That's right. Directing power. I can use an action to... Deactivate the shield and direct its power elsewhere. Either it be impulse engines or on um, one of the ship's weapons. If you invest the power in the ship's engines... Yeah, the ship th there's a system that hand. allows you to make jumps happen faster, but there's not an ability. Oh, that's void jump. Uh, I can... Uh, I can begin the charging process of the void jump. Once a dark matter engine has uh, begun the charge, uh, it will jump in a minute. It will be a minute instead of ten. Uh, yeah. No intervention can stop or slow, so I can do that. What do I do? I need to do. You just start. You just do it, but they're less than a minute away. Right, well, I start it. It doesn't fucking matter. I start it because that way, if they're half a minute away, then we only have to deal with them for a half a minute before we jump. <laughs> What's um, that? Five rounds. Yeah, it's a long. Time. I, I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do, guys. Like, move away there's from them. There's three sharks. Away. I mean, there's only one thing we can do. Blind jump into elven territory. Just pick a direction and go. It takes a minute. He's saying they'll be there before that. Yeah. Yeah. But we need to pick a direction. I, he already said that. We know the direction that it was heading. Yeah. So, so we're, we're going to yeah. attack by space sharks, apparently. Because we can't get away in time. Yes. So let's get some initiatives going. You mean uh initiative, right? Oh yeah, yeah. initiative for ship. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna die. Now probably. How does that work with Oh gotta get into ship combat? The ship apparently has an initiative score of zero point one. Well wait, don't... what does a pilot no. The, it might be a pilot's initiative, honestly. Um, I do to new. Give me a second. When the ship begins combat, each character must take a role in the ship participate. The character initiative. Character when a ship combat begins, each character oh, yeah. must take a role. Yeah. Okay. Character with uh characters' actions with regards to the ship are limited choice. Entire enemy ships act on a single turn of the initiative order whereas individual characters act specifically so you guys still roll each individual initiative it just determines who acts i guess yeah all right so um, that sucks they all act at one time yeah so i'm just gonna um Twitcher, drag me onto the map <laughs> yep. and click the right thing 
Nice. Cool. Um, how many guns do we have, Oops. and would I be able to also be on the guns and stuff? I guess Maybe. deleting my token deletes me from the initiative. Yeah, I guess we gotta keep it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have to re-roll and edit it because I got a garbage. Well, you can edit it, like. Uh... Yeah. Well, that's... <laughs> so, if it helps, I would have the first action, I would have done a void jump check, which there is no check. It's kind of dumb that they put that under engineering thing, but I do a void jump. No intervention can stop or slow this progress. Once it begins, nothing short of destroying the ship can interrupt the jump. Just FYI. Yep. I know. Um, and then after that, how many rounds before they caught up after I did that? Because you said they were less than a minute away from that moment. Yeah. Five rounds. All right. So after that, I would have been doing direct power to increase our speed by half. So we're at 4,500 and going in the direction away from the sharks. I would tell Swift the direction the sharks are coming from. So that maybe we can get an extra round or two before they got to us. I don't know how fast the sharks are. They might be fast as hell for... Well, Where we're at 3,000, now buffed up to 4,500. For those five for fi rounds. For, for five four rounds. rounds. Four rounds, because the first one was a void jump. No, so that's, that's true. Okay, so four rounds of of the 45, one round of 3,000. Okay. So is it still five rounds that I would have had? Or would we have gained... I'll say it'll buy you a round. <clears throat> All right, so we have to survive four rounds, guys. Four rounds before we jump. <laughs> um, how also, many guns do you guys have? Uh, we have where's, two where's guns, the... and yeah, only guns. one of them is usable, really. Well, and, you have and, you can control one. I, you I guys charge the have... arcane cannon because it takes a turn, so it yeah. charge before they arrive. <laughs> Don't shake your head. That's a good idea. That's no, like... no. I mean, it's just kind of like uh, there's nothing else I can do besides charge the cannon. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can charge. ready in action, charge the cannon, ready in action that when they come in range, you hit them. I don't think it works that way. Cause it's not with, not with arcane cannon. Are all the other? Wait, how many other guns do we have? Uh, was it? Two? We have a heavy cannon and the arcane cannon. Okay. That's and it. Which is the heavy cannon directional? Uh. I'm trying to remember that. Give me a second. Probably a um, board arc weapon. I gotta double check that. But True. like the way the arcane cannon works is you charge it on your turn and the next turn if you don't do anything, it dissipates. It's so you can't really okay. like, ready So anything. you could just you could just charge it right before you're like, oh, yeah, they're so coming basically range, like, charge it, and then yeah, your next right, right before so, they're in range, I charge it, then when they're in range, I can charge Heavy cannon. Because that's the difference between me being on the heavy cannon and maybe being yeah. on the sensors oh. instead to see if that would help. The arcane cannon has a range of 10,000 where the heavy cannon is only 4,500 to disadvantage 3,500. So I might be able to fire the heavy arcane cannon before. When they get within 10,000 feet? Yeah, when they get within yeah. 10,000. Is sensor doing a thing, dude? I don't know. It's Look, open the book, man. Not pilot, really. It's not. Pilot, gunner, engineer, and captain. Mm. Yeah, I'm basically a gunner position. What is, Either B cat or gunner. I, I guess I'll because they probably don't need the gunner for the other one if we don't. Why not? Because it's forward facing and if we're running away. Is it forward facing? Is that That's what we were asking. Actually, the thing is, with movement, does it actually in space, do you have to be going forward for your full amount? No, I mean, you can turn. You don't have to be facing forward. I would say. Well, it depends on the a... engines. The engines are in the back. You have to face forward. We yeah, can only no. turn ninety degrees on our on our turn. So it gets it's almost just maneuvering thrusters if you were going backwards. Yeah, I mean, I can try doing some captaining. I don't know how much it'll help. Uh, it helps a lot. Fire at will. Okay. Yeah. Do, 
Uh, full but speed. Actually, you need to be on can gunner. You, you need because, to be on the gun because yeah. I'm already taking a gunner position, and my my turns are going to be charge a gun, fire a gun, charge a gun, yeah. fire a gun. And those are my actions. Yeah. You so need to I, be on I gunner. can't do both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but that's only if I guess if they get in front of us. No, it, it depends for... on the weapon. Yeah, I'm stuff. trying. Open up dark matter. Why did it? I'm trying. I, I'm reading it, but it doesn't tell me if it's forward facing or not. I'm just gonna it's actually look at the actual. Point. Does it say on the renegade sheet? Yeah, that's where I'm looking. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that a human ship? Yeah. It's a miscellaneous. Yeah. Or oh. miscellaneous. Or miscellaneous. Yeah. Uh, so one of them is fixed front. No, wait a minute. Uh, renegade. Here we go. Front. The heavy cannons are only frontal. Yeah. Okay. So they, it have to be in front of us. And we're, we only have one of the cannons anyway. So basically... Yeah, I know. Once yeah. we start the fight, right? Yeah. We're going to have to turn. Because shields only cover uh, a certain one, section. Yes, a certain section at a time. Okay. But you will be able to get a shot off with the um, arcane cannon. Sure, I'll, I can click that. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, also, let me. See. Well, I mean, I did click it. There it goes. So, does a nineteen hit a space shark? <laughs> yes. Okay, it takes eleven mega fire damage because it's yes. a fire spell. Okay. It's space fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's space fire. Space fire. Let me just. All right, so you get one attack off. Yeah, that's at then, ten thousand feet. Does he get the yeah, charge? Ten thousand. Yeah. So I don't know how. We get to figure out how much they can move in a turn. Yeah. It's, they actually move. Because it takes me another turn to charge the cannon, and then the heavy cannon has... Technically, the heavy cannon can fire as well, because it's 13, but that's disadvantage. So do it. We need to kill these things. There's like, how many of them did I see on the sensor? There was three, yeah. All right, we need to kill what we can before they get close. Yeah, yeah but so you could... I mean, I'd have to turn the ship around. I mean, oh, but we have right. to anyway. Yeah. We so could... we lose... We don't get the extra round. We just Yeah, don't. we wouldn't get the extra round. Yeah, um, so. because we turn to face them, we shoot at ten thousand feet. How well, you can shoot at thirteen, thirteen thousand five hundred at disadvantage with the heavy cannon. Joe, we're asking you questions. Yeah, so you can get with disadvantage. You can get one off. It's normal what range? Ten thousand. Is, Ten thousand is, is the arcane, the arcane cannon, and thirteen thousand right. five hundred is disadvantage on the heavy cannon. So, what's the normal range of the heavy cannon is what I was meant, sorry. Oh, it's 4,500 for non-disadvantage. Okay, so you can get a not, you can get a disadvantage shot off ahead of time? How fast are these With the heavy things? cannon? Yeah, these things are fast as fuck if they're doing over 5,000... They're double moving towards you. Okay. How, how much... Distance are they closing in? And yeah, I, looking on the sensors, how their much normal fly is three thousand. They're double moving, so they have the same speed as us. Normal. So we could yeah. technically outrun them, guys. Because I can, I can do that. If Banner takes up Captain, he could do full speed ahead, which gives us even more speed. So we could just avoid the entire combat. <laughs> we could. We could try. I, I'll go for that. I can try to take up the Captain spot for it. Because we don't have a wrench here. Try it just happens. It's it, okay. this, this the space combat's not that difficult. Oh, okay. No, so I just no, didn't know if there no was like a check for me to do or something. No, it's basically you're in no. the captain role. You can give orders, and it yeah. because it's your turn, you give. You say full speed so. ahead. You use your action to push the engine. The pilot can then use its reaction to move the ship half its movement. So we could literally do six thousand per round and outrun these sharks. Well, for a minute. Went, All we have to do well, is outrun for a minute. Well, <laughs> you technically you technically stay at the same distance then. 
Because if they're, yeah. double, they're and double, and Cinder can just start, and yeah, just keep them, keep them in the ten. No, because she has to face them. She has to face no, them. No, no, the arcane cannon just doesn't have. Uh, oh, it's not directional. Yeah, the no, arcane cannon isn't directional. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, I, I just keep like, blasting them while we're flying away. Yeah. So how, how many times can I attack the sharks with the mega Because like, if they know, well, if they after the second attack, they're gonna just like. Go away then. They're not going to continue just getting beat up if it's if you're moving just as fast. Does a 13 hit them? <laughs> yes, a 13 would just hit them. Okay, cool. They take a whopping two. <laughs> Do they run away yet? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the lead shark is going to move away. All right, after a minute, we're just going to jump. So yeah. we only have, like, five rounds of this. So. Yep. Go ahead and give me a blind jump. <laughs> Joe's like, son of a bitch. I found this truck icon and everything. <laughs> Why would we want to fight sharks in space? Oh, well, the ship the there would be one reason. Space we need What? What was We need them alive. We were trying, yeah. Oh, that's right. For How the we crazy... Go, no. How are we going to, unless we're going to tether it to our yeah. ship and yeah. jump with it somehow tethered? We need, yeah. to, we need to find a small space bearing creature, basically. Well, yeah. no, we have, have to have a star. freighter. We go inside of it and get the live babies in its belly. Oh, no. Shove oh. it into the cargo holds. Oh, Hopefully my God. No damage. <laughs> how, wait, how heavy are the babies? Because we have limited capacity for a ton. Too heavy anyway, for Anyway, so 95, is that a perfect jump? That is a perfect job. All right, so we we're now really, really far away from these sharks. <laughs> and we don't know. I'm gonna scan again. I guess tech roll. So that was that start. That's two jumps. Because we had the first jump. No, we, we just us. did one. We yeah no, for no, today. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's two jumps. For Second today. one for the day. Uh, do another scan to see if. Twenty-four. Pretty good. You're getting life signs again? Is it more sharks? No, it is not sharks this time. It's the fucking elves. Is it uh, dolphins? Space jerk dolphins? <laughs> no, you're finding space worms. That doesn't sound good. That actually sounds great. Turtles eat worms, dude. But do space turtles mm -hmm. eat space worms? Depends on the turtle. We have, we have no new information. We don't know. <laughs> How far away are these space worms? Are they there are a few worms? thousand feet. Like four thousand feet. All right. So in one turn, we're now at the worms. <laughs> no, two turns. I wouldn't be pushing our engines like that. Let's be. <laughs> um. Why are we? Uh. Um. What do you guys? I'll, I'll relay. What do you guys want to do? Cause... Well, now we're closer. We can do a better scan. Well, I just did a better scan. I don't. One of the one of the worms is two thousand feet long. Okay, space worms are big. Uh, do we want to mess like with space worms? Are they like regular earthworms, or are they like freaking centipede? Like I don't care. Oh, okay, they're no. aberrations. Are are they the are like the big like worm thing from Star Wars? <laughs> or are they like you know? Oh like, no! Joe's <laughs> a Star Wars fan. It's 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 an I'm asteroid not a Star worm. Wars. It's fan. an asteroid worm. You're not. A I'm Star actually Wars. not a huge Star Wars fan. I'm more of Star Trek. He is more Star Trek. Fan. You're not a huge. That doesn't mean that you're not a fan. Yeah. No, these are aberrations. Oh god, no, stay away from them. That's bad. Aberrations are not good things, guys. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we have to jump somewhere again? I guess direction? we can jump in that direction again and maybe get closer. Watch us jump too far and it hits us. You're also <laughs> detecting some other worms within its vicinity. Baby worm. That are let's see, how big are these? There? Are we supposed to get worms for this guy too? <sighs> Again, the worms are small huge. things. We can't, we can't. Small things. There seems to be like a dozen of small ones, and about a half a dozen of. Um, when you say ones. small, space small. What does that mean? <laughs> does that mean fit in our cargo hold? 
The smaller, the small and medium ones would fit in your cargo hold. Do except for if we go there, the big ones will try but and kill us. For the big one the is near them. <laughs> so we're making another jump. All right, we're making another jump. Screw that. Screw that. That's death. That's like saying you can go into. You can um, fly into this black hole if you want. <laughs> no, go into this dragon's lair, and. Uh, well, hey, I have high persuasion. <laughs> I've never I can seen that. <laughs> Are you gonna su seduce the space? I mean, dragon. I'll seduce the space dragon. Just watch. I, I thought about it for a second seducing the space worm. <laughs> no. No. D100. D100. Jumping. Wait, wait. Jump, 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 <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Oh, awesome! Jesus. All right. So that's three today. Scan. I'm gonna scan as soon as we. Do I even need to? Do we like pop up inside the anus of this turtle? <laughs> I hope not. No, you don't. <clears throat> oh. Well, that's a, that's a roll. Yeah. Um, you're not detecting the turtle, but you are detecting other life forms. Oh, All right, let's God. jump again. Well, wait. Let's see what they are. Yeah. You are detecting a blob with tentacles. No, nope. Um, nope. Jumping. Nope. We're out. Jumping again. We're out. It Cross is moving day. towards you. And we are jumping. Oh, uh, I think that's an off course. Uh, that might be. Uh, it might even be a half distance. 44 is off, off target. So 50%. So we lost 50% distance. That might actually be beneficial. We're, we might be getting closer to the turtle. <laughs> I mean, we've almost jumped a whole hex at this point. Uh, yeah, I know, but it's moving at the same time. It took us a day to get there, right? Mm -hmm. So it's moving as well. Um, is it jumping or is it just like moving? It's, it's just, just moving. moving. It's just so you moving. may have jumped way past it. Yeah, because we're, uh, we're, I mean, we we're searching no, space. We have no, yeah, we yeah, have no we're searching space. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying. We might as well just keep jumping we're, forward. We're probably at the freaking warp j jump gate thing here. That's what I'm saying. We might as well get to the gate and just Actually, ask at this me. point, Can I see a turtle? <laughs> you are about here. Oh, we passed the jump gate. Yeah. Well. All right. Maybe we should well, go back no, to the jump we'd... gate and ask for the turtle. Well, we would have lost time because we lost fifty percent, so we wouldn't have made a whole yeah, hex. Yeah, because that—that's a whole hex. We'd be more like uh, 0.7 or something. But roll well, your ten percent. Do, do we yeah. hit anything? Uh, let me do see do. something. Ten percent chance. Of which you got no. Forty-four. Forty-four. Was just off target. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so um, you don't find anything interesting. You're just in dead space. All right, uh, I scan. Twenty-seven. You're detecting mm -hmm. completely nothing out here. I would recommend we do nothing and just wait a day. If there's nothing out here, with how much dangers we've faced already, that would be yeah. suggested. How far away is the, the gate on sunlight, not warp? I'd say probably about 15 hours. I'd say we fly there and wait. I don't think so. I think we should wait. I honestly think we should wait. Here's, here's my reasoning. We've ran into a trail of living life forms. I think they follow the turtle. I think we're in the path of where the turtle's gonna come from, where it's, it's coming. There's nothing here, so there has nothing. I don't think the turtle's passed through this area yet. But it's on the way back the way we came. So we I know, but of... we're also gonna be running into. It's it's told there's people there. We're running into oh, having oh, to deal okay. with people. Okay. Like right. at least we're, right now we're safe, right? There's nothing coming at us like everywhere else in this dam. <laughs> place that we came by. Accurate. So that, that's what my assumption would be. I would say, uh, I, 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 my, I don't know, um, but I think life forms tend to beget life forms. Hunt, maybe they're hunting prey pieces or stuff that falls off of it. 
um, there's nothing here. I don't think the turtle has passed through this region yet. If, if it's still in this direction, we wait. If it's not, we jump back and see if we get more information. That sounds fair like a good idea, Rindy. Okay, well, we will leave it there for tonight. Because it is a little after 10. That's a boring cliffhanger, Joan. <laughs> no, it's As only 7.05. <laughs> As you wait in deep space to see if something turns up. Or if we have to jump some more. Elves yet. I don't want to deal with the elves yet. Like, we don't know anything about them yet. And elves are usually dicks in normal fantasy. Space <laughs> fantasy? There's going to be hyper dicks. <laughs> right? Mega dicks. Because everything's mega weapons, right? That's right. They're going to be mega dicks. <laughs> so, let's uh, go around. Why are you in our territory? <laughs> I mean, their, their space is pretty big. Yeah, oh, yeah. There's <laughs> will... actually very little life, life places to live on this map for their whole galaxy. There so... are smaller planets. Hmm. The main one, big, like, big central colony, you know, like, central worlds are listed. There's plenty of n actual planets... <laughs> That you can find. I don't know. We haven't found that many. <laughs> You've also been trying to jump to specific places. You. Yeah. I mean, we did find one planet that was like the death of gen genocide planet. <laughs> you, you know, when you, the thing is, you ha you when rolling really well on your blind jumps. Accurate. Well, it does lead towards rolling decent yeah so anyway let's start with unfunny hi i'm a funny one i have a channel you should check it out we have fun we play games we joke we talk about things that are D D D D related tabletop related check me out also vampire. Be... vampire was really fun on friday i had a lot of fun with that game um, uh, I think tomorrow I will be playing Darkest Dungeon, because I have it in a while, um, for a couple hours. So, if you're interested in that, check me out at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Cool. Uh, Blaze! Uh, you can find me here now every Sunday, and Friday we've been doing Raft. Uh, it's getting bigger. Uh, I've started making my diving board, and, you know... We're trying to find all the animals, I guess, to make sort of the uh, raft uh, arc. <laughs> Are yes. you going to eat them to find out what they'll taste like? Yes. Well, we do eat the eggs, and, you know, we will we'll get the milk from the goat. I'm sorry, wasn't it a, a, a gal? Oh, and we, because it was a goat cow? And a, yeah, and we eat the sharks and the bears and the boars. Bear was delicious. not space sharks. Uh, not yet. Oh, no. Actually, sometimes when the game glitches out and there's a huge wave, it, the shark does fly through the air. Okay, guys, <laughs> why the shark is so fucking annoying? I hate it so much. I Playing by myself, because uh, I bought it last week. When, um, I got it from... I don't know. I got it somewhere. Um, and I started playing, and I hate that shark so damn yeah. much. Biggest thing, uh, Josh, would be when you can finally armor your raft. Yeah, I have the ability to do that, but I don't have... Because it's just me harvesting. Yeah. Um, it's a lot slower. Uh, but, like, going to an island and getting metal, I have to kill the shark, like, four times before I can get all the damn metal. Because yeah. mm -hmm. it comes back in, like, a minute. It comes back so fast. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yeah. So, yep, that's me. And lightning. I'm here. You'll you find me here just, you know, every every Sunday unless the world explodes. Mm -hmm. It turns I inside guess. out and explodes it. Yeah. There'll, there'll, there'll be bits of world everywhere. It's yeah, not yeah. You don't want that. I'm not cleaning up the and... world. <laughs> Tantus. Yeah. Uh, so I'm making a wizard tower in Wrath. I'm saying Wrath. I'm saying about that, you know. 
I'm totally making a wizard's tower for no apparent reason to his diving board. But yes, if you're looking for more RPGs, uh, which you very well might be here on this channel, uh, you can check it out on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I have Records of Evil, the lawful evil D&D uh, &D game as a cult of Asmodia set in a modern-day version of Faerun. Uh, and then later on that same day at 2 p.m., uh, Legacies of Cain, a Vampire the Masquerade game, because Vampire the Masquerade is always fun. Uh, on Thursday at 8 p.m., would be uh, Children of Wrath, the D&D uh, &D meets Magic the Gathering game, where we're in the Magic the Gathering world of Dominaria, the first set from the entire span of the... Uh, the, fir the first world defined in the world of Magic. And uh, they're doing some amazing adventures there and traveling a lot and exploring. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, check out Discussing Tabletop on Saturdays, 2 p.m. Uh, this game here next week at hopefully the same time. And uh, I'll probably do some gaming streams. Uh, I have a a hopefully less annoying uh, Rimworld run now that I theoretically rebalanced the goddamn mechanoids, but I don't know if they have because I haven't encountered any yet. So we'll find out. Oh, I've been playing Rimworld and I hate it so much. I hate those mechanoid <laughs> colonies that like show up in your territory. They say they've I, rebalanced them, but I'm like, have you? Every, if... I, I get so far into the game that every single raid is a colony ending raid. So it's like, I'm just going to save Scum because I don't care. I'm playing the game for fun, not to be destroyed. Yeah, what about Rimby World? World? Uh, I didn't ha I, <laughs> I didn't have that one. I, I well, The last time I played before, like, too many colony ending, like, freaking mechanoid colonies invaded me, I was naming everybody after people from Children of Wrath. I think I was going to do it after this game at one point in time, uh, but they all died. Okay, you, you did. Yeah. Too, too many random comedies. So, and I might do some other games, too. Uh, I've been thinking about getting back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, the, the one I was doing back in November. I don't I don't know if I would just restart or just continue from where that one left off. I, I hope you have the community patch for that. I am playing with the community patch for that one. Yeah, because I've heard if you'd play without it, it's like mega jank. Yes. <laughs> I, I looked that up before I started, and it was like, community patch. So I have yeah, that one installed. I, I played it when it was released. I haven't played blo I haven't played Bloodline since it, since near it was released. I never yeah, finished. It was a fun game. I never finished. I got to the club. I was yeah. a Malkavian. I'm playing. Malkavian is second playthrough. Always yeah. second playthrough. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I, they're my first my go first go to vampire race. I love them. They're too great. That one. Uh, I doing... just love re I love being crazy. Yeah, I'm doing a. <laughs> I was doing a Toriador just because I'm like I've never played one and oh, I wanted bitch. to. I wanted to experience it. Uh huh. <laughs> Nor normal <laughs> normally I'm a Bruja or Ventru when I play Vampire and I'm an actual player. Uh, those are kind of my go tos. Uh, though I have played a uh, La Sombra anti tribute one time, but you can't do that in this game. No sh no horrible yeah. shadow powers. All I have to say for to you is those for doo doo. Uh, that was another one of those, we wanted to, to have me do a session, and I didn't actually want to run a session, so I tormented you people with that. Uh, yes, look, I know. Too many times I've been forced to run a game, and I do stupid shit, and that's my my response to being forced to run a game. Anyway. Uh, uh, anyway, Joe, so... Finish out to us, Joe? Yeah. Um, I'm Joe, you'll find me on Tenda's channel on... Thursdays for Children of Wrath, Saturdays for Discussing Tabletop, and of course Sundays here for my game, Grinding Gears. So until next time, everyone, stay healthy, stay safe, and good night. Yeah, and stay and don't sane. don't attack space sharks. No, no, they no will space sharks. eat your faces off. Space sharks suck. Anyway, goodbye! Bye! Bye! Bye.